In the following section, the most common terminology used in Irish set dancing is explained through audio and visual examples. For those of you who are learning how to set dance for the first time, this explanation will be of great importance in getting a better understanding of the Irish set dancing vocabulary. I also know that there are those of you who have been dancing for some time and have managed to pick up the movements adequately, but who may not be entirely au fait with the terminology and techniques used regularly. So therefore, I hope the following demonstrations will make your knowledge of the set dancing movements all the more complete. In the following examples, I will play the most common tune types associated with Irish set dancing, that is the reel, jig, hornpipe, slide and polka. I will play these examples so that you can understand the eight bar structure and the type of rhythm and feel associated with these tune types. Later you will see the dancers dancing to these tune types. For those who are not too familiar with the bar structure, normally two regular taps of the foot in time to the music make up each bar. So therefore, 16 taps of the foot make up 8 bars. And now I'm going to play 8 bars of a reel for you. And this time I'm going to play 8 bars of a jig. And uh, I continue with eight bars of a hornpipe. And uh, now eight bars of a slide. And I'll finish with eight bars of a polka. As you look at the formation of a standard set, you will notice the set is made up of four couples or eight dancers. The female and male dancers in the set are commonly re referred to as the lady and the gent. While standing in the normal position or dancing as a couple, the lady always stands to the right of the gent. In general, although there are exceptions to this, the couple with their back to the band, or in this case, slightly to the right for camera purposes, is known as the top couple or tops. Individually, the top couple comprises the top lady and top gent. The dancers opposite the top couple and normally facing the band are referred to as the second top couple or second tops, made up of the second top lady and second top gent. Both of these couples facing one another are referred to as the tops or tops. The couple to the left of the top couple is referred to as the first sides, made up of the first side lady and first side gent, and their counterparts opposite and facing them are known as the second sides, individually known as the second side lady and second side gent. The couples to the left and right of the tops are commonly known as the sides or sides. Each set is made up of several sections known as figures. The dancers normally stop briefly between each figure, as does the music. Within each figure there are different subsections known as movements. A particular sequence of movements, which is sometimes repeated during a figure, is referred to as the body. The tops are the first to perform each movement within the figures, followed in turn by the sides. The term opposite partner refers to the couple dancing opposite you. The term opposite lady refers to the lady dancing opposite you. And the opposite gent refers to the gent dancing opposite you. In this example, the dancers are dancing to reels. The basic reel step is characterized by the normal one, two, three, up, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, up, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, up, one, two, three. 
In this example, the dancers are dancing to jigs. This rhythm is characterized by its hop one, two, three, hop one, two, three. Also used in this example is what's called house inside. Here the two opposite couples house around, dancing anti-clockwise around one another. In this example, the hornpipe step is demonstrated using the basic but all important one, two, three, hop, one, two, three, hop, one, two, three, hop, one, two, three, and two, three. In this movement, the dancers are dancing to slides. This dance is similar to jigs in its six feet but the first beat is more pronounced in the slide, such as two, three, up, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, up, one, two, three, and two, three, and up, two, three. In this demonstration, the dancers are dancing to polkas. The common rhythm and step used while dancing polkas is one, two, three, 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 up, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. In this example, the dancers are also using what is called the waltz hold. This is where the gent's left hand and the lady's right hand are joined at shoulder height while their left hands are placed at one another's backs. This time the dancers demonstrate what is referred to as advance and retire. This is where one or more dancers in a line or circle dance forward and back without turning. The dancers also make use of a movement which is referred to as dancing halfway around. This movement is similar to house around, only the couple dance to their opposite position and dance from there before returning to their starting position of what is called home. Swinging is a movement in which the couple dance in place while turning or spinning around together at pace. Both dancers' right feet are placed in the centre while their left feet are used to gain momentum. After the circle and advance and retire, here the couples dance in an anti-clockwise motion, what is referred to as swinging at home or swinging in place or back at home. Home refers to the couple's starting position within the set and in place refers to the position where they ended up after finishing the last movement. After first demonstrating what's called the lead around, in this example the dancers swing using a technique called the Cayley Hole or Cayley Swing. In the Cayley Hole, the couple clench their left hands in front of their bodies, while their right hands are placed on one another's backs. House or House Around. This is where dancers dance in an anti-clockwise motion around the circumference of the set, turning clockwise four times as they dance around each couple's original starting position. After the ladies chain in this example, the top couples house around one another inside, using what's called the crossed hand method. This is different to the walls and Cayley holding positions used elsewhere. The next movement used here is what's referred to as pass through and pass back. Here each couple split and dance between the opposite couple. They pass through and pass back from different positions each time after changing sides at the opposite couple's starting position. This example shows the dancers dance what is called back to back and after the swing continue with the movement known as the square. Here the couples dance around inside on their own in the shape of a square instead of the usual circular movement. In this example 
the dancers demonstrate what's called house inside. The two dancers house around inside the main body of the set in an anti-clockwise motion. After this, we can see demonstrated what is referred to as turn the lady. In this example, the movement called the chain is used. This is where dancers dancing in opposite directions link left and right hands alternately with a new partner each time. In this example, this is done as the dancers dance around in a circle while they swing halfway around. At the end of this example, we can see a movement called the lineup. The men sidestep to one side while the ladies sidestep to the opposite side. This example shows the ladies' chain. This is where only the ladies take part in a chain movement, weaving left and right. Ladies' right hand chain refers to a movement that begins with the joining of the right hands. And the ladies' left hand chain refers to the chain movements starting with the joining of the ladies' left hands. The next movement is referred to as the star demonstrated by the two top gents this time. After the lead round inside and advancing and retiring twice, the top couples dance what's called Little Christmas. Little Christmas. This is characterized by four dancers facing inwards, sidestepping in a circular movement with their arms behind one another's backs. Ladies in and gents in is demonstrated here. The following example also shows what's called the wheel. This is where both top gents join hands in the centre, while side gents also join hands in the centre. The ladies dance around with their left hand on their partner's shoulder. While dancing around in the opposite direction, the ladies place their right hands on their partner's shoulders. This movement is followed by a movement called Big Christmas which is where all eight dancers form a tight circle and sidestep facing inwards with their hands behind each other's backs. In this example, the dancers dance clockwise, sidestepping to the left and anti-clockwise, sidestepping to the right. In this example, the dancers demonstrate the arch. Here, the top couples go under the arch made by the raised hands of the second top couple and the second time around the arch is made by the top couple while the second top couple dance under the arch. This time the top couples demonstrate what's known as the wheelbarrow. This is where one gent dances in place while the other gent grasps his partner's hand and the opposite lady's hand as they face him and the three advance and retire. After this, the gent turns the ladies to face the opposite gent 